What I'm going to discuss here is this tool called the chopper. It's actually called the chopper 2. Now, the, the original chopper is a piece of wood, um, cutting blade, and nothing really fancy. So this is a new version of that. It has a little cutting mat on here. It has a basically a razor, razor blade. It has two knobs that with a ruler and some um, degrees here, some angles, as well as two templates to kind of cut things with. So what I'm going to do is kind of quickly demo how to do one of these radiator pieces. Now, right now a lot of Japanese models, well, actually a lot of modelers are actually creating these little bits and pieces and adding them to you know their models something similar to this so what I'm gonna do is kinda of show you a quick way to create this piece by using this chopper tool now first of all I'm gonna kinda of measure out let's see here uh, a couple of pieces so what's nice about the chopper is I could get a rough, rough measurement of how big of a piece I want and then I could tie this down like so so this, is a, it, this doesn't move so I have a straight angle here I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces out one two I'm basically gonna replicate something similar to this so we'll put this aside now I have these four pieces now it would act as one of the faces. So what this piece is comprised of is there's four sheets here with in, uh, with a piece of plastic in the middle between them separating and creating that you know, negative space there. Each of these pieces is comprised of three separate pieces. So I'm cutting out the first of the three pieces. I'm going to set them aside here. Set this aside. Now I have another piece of plastic, plastic uh, strip, and I'm just going to cut, maybe maybe I want to change the length of this a little bit, so let's lengthen it a little bit, and I'm going to tighten this down, cut four pieces as well. Okay, now that I have that done, set this aside and my last piece now these are all different uh, different widths of plastic but they're relatively well actually they are the same thickness here so I don't want this to be too big so I'm going to go back down a little bit using my trusty tool ruler nail this down chop away. So right now I have three sections that will eventually make this up. So now time to kind of design this a little bit. Now usually you just draw this out, draw this shape out and get a rough idea of what you want to do. but. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do quickly just some quick shape cutting. So I put this up against the edge of the blade because I want this first shape to be about 60 degrees. So I'm going to put my part down, put it up against the edge so I know that each part that I cut will be identical. So that's one. Now you want to be careful because this blade is pretty sharp. I accidentally nicked myself earlier just by bumping up against it. So this blade is no joke, which is why it cuts plastic so very well. So now, I have, now that I have these pieces cut, this is going to be one side of, of the radiator bit. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to keep these the same because this is going to be my middle piece 
Now I'm going to cut this at a different angle. So let's go for a 45 degree angle. Just going to butt that up against there. And again, there are angle marks here that you could, you know, bump up a ruler and cut. So the next set of pieces, I want a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to do the short side up against here. I'm using a uh, back end of a skewer to kind of hold it in place so I don't lose the finger or anything while I'm cutting. Now these scrap pieces I kind of want to save too so I'm gonna kind of push them off to the side because I could do something with these scrap pieces as well. And let's finish cutting this. Now I'm doing this relatively fast so I'm not really caring too much about precision because again this is just for the sake of this tutorial I'm not actually building something. But if I were, this would go a lot slower. Now, next up I want to glue these parts together. So I'm going to pick a, a design I want to use. So something similar to what I did earlier. I'm just going to use my ruler to kind of strain things out. So that's my one piece I have there. I can go ahead and start building the other pieces since I know roughly what they're going to look like. So now that I have these pieces kind of set up together, I could take some glue and start applying glue to the pieces to glue them together. Now this is just your typical plastic uh, weld, similar to Tamiya Extra Strength. I'm just this is just a, a different application method. Now I'm, work I'm using this glue because it's pretty quick acting, but I still have a little bit of time to straighten things out if I need. I'd also let these sit up and uh, completely dry or cure up and then sand these down before I went to the next step. But again, in the interest of doing this tutorial, I'm just not going to bother with that. So this will dry pretty quickly. And we'll move on. So once these are dry, it's time to assemble this piece together. So I'm going to cut out, I'm going to take one, and measure the rough distance that I need. take another piece of plastic. Now for this, this is a little too thin, it might fall through the space between their, the, the chopper piece and the edge of the cutting board. So for that purpose, just add a metal um, ruler and run this across like so and do my cuts this way. So one two, three. I'm doing three because there's four pieces and I only have to sandwich three spaces. So I'm going to start off with this piece and I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue down here. like so. So now that I have that piece glued, apply glue on top of that.
and apply the next layer. Trying to keep everything as flush as possible. So you see it's starting to take a little bit of shape. Same, repeat the process. Again, I'm working pretty fast just for the sake of this tutorial, but in reality you should be working all considerably slower than this. And then the last layer of uh, glue. And there we have a radiator piece. Something like this. Very, very, again, very, very crudely done, but you get the idea of what you can possibly do with this. Now, this is done along the, uh, along a flat plane. Now, if I were to have a circular piece like so, I could potentially run this around this, around a circular piece, glue it onto the edge, which I'll do now just for the sake of uh, the demonstration apply glue to the edge edge of here edge of here and I could take this I could start fanning it out a little bit So you could create something like this, where you have a, uh, a circular piece and you can fan this out, almost like a turbine. Continuing with the chopper tool to cut detail pieces for um, parts, what I'm going to do here is uh, show you how to basically cut pot plate using the chopper so that you could get symmet symmetrical identical parts to uh, detail up these pieces. So this is from a um, high new Gundam part. I don't know what part it is, but you see that there's a flat surface here, flat surface here that could use some detail. Now I'm just going to use this as a quick demonstration on what you could do with the chopping tool. So first of all I'm just going to cut out a strip of, um, I'm going to kind of measure this a little bit so I know how much I want. So I want a detail piece that's going to just kind of sit right here. So I roughly know that uh, I would generally measure this beforehand, but for the sake of um, this tutorial I'm just going to do something really quick. So let's chop two pieces here so I have identical pieces. So basically these two pieces are they're not identical. That would be a problem. One of these two pieces are identical. There we go. These two pieces are identical. This is garbage. So this will go on top of here. Like so. Now I also want to bevel the edges. So let's pick something 45 degrees. Let's grab 45 degrees right off here and we'll take this piece and we'll run it up against here hold it in place remove 45 degrees from there flip it around so I have a mirror image and do the same to the other side so basically I have now 45 or 
a trapezoid. Now I can do something like this. So once I'm done with this, I know I have this angle set correctly. So I could do this again for a second piece. Again, watch, be careful of the blade because it's pretty freaking sharp. Make sure you flip it over so you get the mirror image. Cut again. Now I have identical pieces that I could then glue onto this. I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue. And I'm just gonna snap this into position. Usually I would also measure measure the edges so that I know these are set correctly. I'm going to apply a little bit more glue to this edges, to these edges, just to make sure I have a good seal. And this piece is done. Now since I have an identical piece here, I could easily do that here. there. I have added a little piece of plot plate with some beveled edges to this. It was a very very simple process to do. Now what I want to do is I want to add more details to this face plate. Say for instance I want to add a plastic sheet right here with some intricate designs. Now how I would do that is very similar to how I built the radiator piece like these, these pieces here is I build it on top I build each individual segment on top of this so let's start off with let's, let's cut a T add this I'm gonna glue it here Add a little bit of a T there. So when I cut away some of these angle parts for um, for the um, radiator bit, or even these, I have leftover um, detail or leftover chunks of plastic. I could still use these. I'm just gonna glue them to the side of this, like so. Apply a little bit of glue. Just grab the tweezers. And let's do something like that. Uh, I, want, I want this. Let's do that. Using my skewer to push things in. Apply a little bit more glue. I have a detail bit there. And I could continue building on this by adding more glue and adding more plastic. So once this is all dry, I could go ahead and sand this down and this will look like it's one sheet this will look like it's one sheet with uh, designs cut into it. And once painted, this will add uh, another layer of depth to this part. Okay, next up, what I have here is called a punch set. So it's basically a plastic plate on top of a metal plate with holes punched in both sides and a bunch of metal punches. 
These go into each of these holes and fits here and here. And with a trusty hammer, you can slide something in between here and punch out a perfect circle. So let's start off here. Why would I need this? This is There's an endless amount of application here. So I want to add a little bit of detail here. I'm going to add this minus mold here. I'm going to cut this out first. Trusty nippers. Cut this out now. Since I don't want to, I don't want to waste this on a just a test piece. I'm just going to use some blue sticky tack to help illustrate what this looks like when you know when you put this together. So let's here. Let's take a little bit of blue sticky tack. And let's say I add this to the side of this piece right here, like so. So this part has an added little detail bit. Now this looks kind of plain inside. What I could do is you measure that fit out. That's about roughly this. Uh, no, it's not. It's about that size. So this fits right in there. This is all millimeters. So I'm going to take some grooved plastic here. It's going to slide it in here. Apply my punch. have a perfectly cut out circle that I could then use to glue in here. Like so. Now I have a I've created an event with a little detail bit the side of this piece just by using this punch. Um, I could also use this punch to cut circular pieces of plastic out. And let's go with a smaller piece. Cut it in half, more partially in half, and then I could glue this on top of here. Glue's dried. And I could create semicircle detail. Return to the punch and using the radiator bit I built earlier. So I want to cover the bottom of this with a little bit of detail. So I'm just going to, again, place this into the punch. Grab my punch, punch out a big hole, let's apply some glue to this, And then we have a little detail bit at the bottom of this bit. And we can continue scratch building and, and add more and more to this as we continue, progress. Until we finally get uh, a finished piece that you can slap onto your kit somewhere. 
So there you have it. Get to the chopper and punch it. <laughs>